welcome to Birmingham. We've arrived and I'm here with Ben Phillips. Ben, how are you, mate? You all right? I'm very well, thank you. B-O-T-N-B-P, is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to follow him on Twitter and TikTok. He runs the TikTok ACB podcast. Make sure you get on that. Um, how are you, mate? You feeling good yeah. about this one? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's no reason why I shouldn't feel confident, to be honest, you know, after winning against Liverpool. Um, this is just a po- positive feeling around the club, which is nice. Um, and I, for some reason, I, I, can, I can just see a draw happening today. I can just see a one all, but you never know. You know, away from home, we haven't been the best, but you know, form's picking up, we're doing all right, the sun's shining, so, you know. Yeah, it's actually a beautiful day. Look, we had a really good drive up this morning. We left about our past day. We arrived just at the pub. Barton's Arms, by the way, unbelievable Thai food. Got here about five to 12, so not too bad. Lovely drive. And now we're here to hopefully witness a good win. This is the back of the net match day vlog, and this is going to be a win. Oh yeah, you heads. That's what he says. This is the Barton Arms and Thai food. All about Thai food. Let's get on it. Come on. Lunch is served. Like, no burgers here. We don't do any of that here. Massa man curry. That's what I'm talking about. So Lucy's got a pad thai. So has, so has Leanne. Leanne, how's it tasting? Delicious. I cut straight in. Unbelievable. I'm getting lemongrass, I'm getting thyme, I'm getting beef, I'm getting rice, I'm getting... It's a massive man. Right, time two o'clock, team right. news is out. What's it going is. on, mate? Let's watch preview. What? Watch preview. What do you mean? Are you saying you got 22 out of 22? Of course I did. Did you? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, I think that's the first time this season, isn't it? First time. Yeah, I think so. But um, How are you feeling about the team anyway? Yeah, I was um, pretty confident that... Um, I, I mean, Steve's trying to hold my hand here. Um, I was pretty confident... That, this, that, that today we would go unchanged because of the way we played against Liverpool. Um, Trey already is back on the bench, which is a good sign. Frederick's actually the one that missed out um, in terms of the subs. And yeah, I think, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't see any reason to change anything today. Welcome to the Back of the Net vlog, Leanne. Hello. You know Leanne, don't you? Uh, Leanne, last time I was on a way day with you, it was pre-global pandemic that closed the world down economically for two Liverpool. years. Um, is that going to happen again after today? Hopefully no, not. No, 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 no. We, but we lost that one 2-1. How are you feeling about today? Do you reckon we get something? I think after last Saturday, I think I think we've got some goals in us. I've just got that feeling. I'm, I'm feeling, thinking we're going to nick it 3-2. I did say 2-2 earlier, but I've changed my mind. Matty's here. How are you, mate? You right? Yeah, I'm well, Sam. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, very glorious well, day so far in Birmingham, mate. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's glorious. Enjoying uh, the second city today. Uh, look, is it going to be our second win against Villa this season? Yeah, we've got a good record here. Um, I'm, I'm worried. That, that makes me worried because I just think uh, since last weekend and, and it recently, since, probably since February, really, since since the new signings have come in, we've there's, the, the expectation levels are starting to grow. That, that makes me concerned and worried. Today feels like a pivotal game, which it is, obviously, but I think the expectation is there from, from us all. Um, and that's, that's not always when we're at our best, is it? We seized mentality last week against Liverpool, got the result. This week is a different kettle of fish. It's a different, different uh, game, different story. So I'm concerned, but, but you, have to, you, have to be, you have to be positive and you have to be confident as well because what we've done over the last few weeks, and particularly what we did last week, was, was pretty good, wasn't it? Very, very, very good. Um, in terms of them, they're, they're ticking along nicely, so it doesn't surprise me either. But I'm hopeful of Watara. We said it bad in the preview. Yeah. Maybe catch them on the break. Um, Weird feeling of optimism today. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of people optimistic today. Um, and I think that's because of the Liverpool game, which I understand. I think it's a different type of game. I chatting to a few people who were saying, you know, we played one in the last few. And I said, you know, it's, it's easy to counter against them sort of teams. And I think these lot will be a little bit more switched on. Uh, Emery's quite pragmatic, so... 
I think it might be a draw today. I'm going to stick with one all. But if you come back to me after I finish that point, then uh, we might nick it. You know, Villa are a different kettle of fish to what they were earlier in the season. We beat them comfortably at our place, didn't we? At Dean De- Court 2 0 earlier in the season, and they, they were awful, to be fair. But they've got a new manager now. Um, it, it, it's a different Villa team that we'll be facing today. Um, Emery's a shrewd, shrewd manager, big character. He, he knows his stuff, he's done it at the highest level. Um, can we reproduce? You know, we're going to have to adapt again, aren't we? Yeah. It's a different game to what it was last week. So, prediction for me would be 2 1, because it always is, isn't it? <laughs> Villa 1, Bournemouth 2, it always is. 2 1. So, 2 1. Okay. Welcome to Birmingham. Right, we've had all the good shit out of it, all right? <laughs> Don't worry about that. What have they done? Uh, I'm uh, Trotsky, as they call me in Charminster. As they do. Lee Hopkins. How are you feeling about the game today, mate? Drink I'm feeling pretty confident because I liked what we did last week. All right, I thought, we, and I like. I think O'Neill's actually kind of got his idea, head around the idea. Yeah, he's learning that, on the job, isn't he? Yeah, but he is. And I think, he's got it. and I think actually, he's, he understands that his strongest team is mm. kind of right. And I like the signings. Yeah. You know something? I was a little bit troubled by it to start with, but actually, I think they've all been good signings. And I'm, and I, and I'm I was a skeptic. I really was. But I think they've all been good signings, and they they, they look good, and they've strength. They have actually really strengthened the team. Yeah. So I feel. I wouldn't. I don't know. If we walk away with a draw, I'd be really happy. I, w- so, I would see that as a real result. What was your favourite um, acquisition today? Was it that point of Guinness or was it the DAB car radio that you got from that Audi, mate? <laughs> mate, it was a laptop. <laughs> All day long. Adam Hensman, how are you, mate? You alright? Uh, mate, we've just had a little chat off camera. You're feeling confident. What are you going for today, score-wise? 3-1, Bournemouth. Who's, who's going to be scoring our goals? Uh, Dom Solanke's going to score a hat-trick. What? Really? Yeah. Come on! Tell you what, if anyone's looking for sofas, this part of Birmingham is where it's at. Lovely little lazy boy there. Cream. Looks like it reclines quite nicely, but what have we here coming up? It's like the generation game, but on a high street. Lovely grey colour there. Fairly neutral colour. Is that a three-seater and a two-seater? Not the best condition, but you know what? If I had a bigger car, I'd be taking some of those back home. I'll tell you what though, this is La piste de la resistance, as we find a fridge-freezer combo. Lovely spacious fridge, lovely little freezer area at the top. If it hasn't got any ice cube trays, I'm not interested, it's a deal breaker. I so was made for QVC, I'm telling you now. Must admit, right, I really do like the stadium. It's got a grand feel about it. Established 1874, but you know what? Classic football stadium. And uh, hopefully, three points on our way. Are they now to get through a drink or two here? Is this going to be a little bump in the road for us? We are in. Here we go. Let's get in there. Come on. Tell you what, old school football ground. Love it. (laughs) Sam, pretty good man. It's the same. We seem to be really slow. Oh my god. We are so leggy. So leggy. Five minutes gone and we look so many off there. 
needs a win, needs a win as well. Oh, oh my god, god mate. We're just so not on it at all. We're so oh, not on it. Know. It's not good enough. It's like the players are hungover from the night before. I mean, obviously we know they're not, but that's the kind of look it's got on the, from the fans' perspective. What to that. Oh, Phil, Phil. Phil, Phil with a chance, sir. Oh, my God. Just just missed it on camera, but Neto had to pick out a world he saved. One-on-one, -on -one. Watkins should have done better. He just needed to dink. He did, Neto. He stood up, saved it. He's still in this somehow. Thanks, Watson. Enjoying this lots. Tom's going. <laughs> you enjoying it, mate? You go for a wee or a bit? Shut up. You go for a wee or a bit? Both. He's going early. Oh, Thirty-six. Billy Days here. Half time, mate. Uh, one nil. Early goal from Villa, and uh, we we haven't been at the races, have we? Back to normal business as normal. Yeah, look, it, it's, it's been poor so far. It's kind of uh, similar to when we were down the road a few, a few weeks ago at Wolves. It was it's a little bit similar. The only positive, only different thing is like, we've actually conceded now. But um, you know, a big 45 is needed. We're going to get anything from this game, if I'm honest. Um, I think when Dia's just running rings around us, I think the only person who's got a kid ahead of us saying they're playing well is Joe Rockwell, to be honest. I think everyone else has been poor. Matt, one nil then. Uh, early goal for Villa. What can you say about that? Well, we, we, we just haven't turned up, so we didn't start very well. I did, so the polar opposite to recent performances, isn't it? particularly Liverpool. We just seem to, it's almost like we've been on a night out the, the night before. We just, like I think you were saying off yeah. air, Sunday morning, we've come out and thought, do we have to do this? There we go, mate. Does that help? Does that help? Yeah. yeah. Uh, talk me through it, mate. We didn't really get a chance to get going, did we? No, frustrated, I think. Uh, they obviously got that goal. We set up to contain them and try and nick something and then they score the goal and that hurts us obviously um, but to be fair the only, the only thing that gives me confidence going into the second half is I don't think Villa look as good as I thought they would I think they're very oh Adam's popping up here by the way look at Adam <laughs> go away professionals here um, yeah I, I don't think they've been Sam I'm talking footballer um, I don't know if you agree but I don't think they, they've looked that great I um, but it's been, it's almost been walking pace for them. They can just knock the ball around, no real pressure on the ball. I think when we get pressure on the ball, we, we, nick, we nick it off them and have some chances. I think the only one that's trying to make something happen is Joe Rothman, in my opinion. I think he's, he's trying his best. But, um, yeah, my, it was kind of my worry before the game was we're playing this game like it's Arsenal City Liverpool. But it really isn't, and they're not going to give us that room behind. And we're going to have to unlock it. So hopefully, we've got a good self bench today, mate, so hopefully we can make it happen. We haven't been very good and we're only one nil down, so see what happens in the second half. Still confident we can take a point out of this. Lewis, what uh, do you think, mate? <clears throat> I was just saying to others, I, um, I haven't been down at half-time all season, basically, but I can't watch that. But, I, we wow. haven't done anything. And it's, it's so bad to watch. I, I had to just I had to come down here and just chill out, really, because <laughs> yeah. I was getting so pissed off with what I was seeing. So... Uh, I just hope that things can change in the second half, mate, because yeah. it's been so bad, beyond bad. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Okay. Right. Fingers crossed for a better yeah. second half, eh? Up the chest. It seems like um, sometimes we've four at the back, three at the back, I can't really work out what we are again. Yeah, we just look all over the place, to be honest, and we've let them dictate play. Said before the game, don't don't give Douglas Louise time and space, and he goes and bangs one in. It wasn't even a good goal, very poor goal defensively. We're just not at the races at all, Sam, to be honest. We've got to sharpen up big time second half because it's really poor at the moment. They're not even that good. And we were just saying well, they're not that good, but we've um, we've been poor, we've just not been at it at all. Heather 1 0, not the best half you've ever seen in no. your life, right? Pretty rubbish, really. Yeah, I'm um, hoping for better in the second half, though, surely. Um, any yeah. stand up players for you? None of ours. <laughs> no, okay, so there we go. <laughs> Second half, 
come on you Reds. No one's looking at Tom, talk me through the scores then. What are Saints doing by the way? What are Saints doing? Uh, Saints have equalised against Tottenham. Okay, what are Leeds doing? Uh, two up. And who else? Uh, Leicester have just equalised. Okay, brilliant. Good day. We've got a free kick in a really dangerous area here. I mean, Phil Bill's the natural left footer, surely, to take this, surely. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was bloody close. That was going in. I never had any faith as soon as Dom was one on one. I didn't have any faith he'd finish that. You know, we won a corner though, so that's good. David Brooks is warming up, and he thinks I think he might be coming on. And I tell you what, fair play to the Villa fans there. Fair play to the Villa fans. time and the fans are pouring out right one deal three deal yeah you went one deal Fan cam's done, it's absolutely pissing it down. I'm trying to upload via 4G in the pissing wet free fall fan cams. All I want to do is get back to what? Is it Cherwell Valley? Some services get some food in me, just go home and forget about that. Oh, crap day, crap day. And back home. Okay, slightly lying, it's actually Sunday. I thought I'd sleep on it, no early vlog upload, but by the way, happy Mother's Day to all mums out there, including mine, you do a fantastic job. But yeah, I just wanted to try to put my thoughts into words really, and I still can't really work out how I feel. By the way, fair play to the Villa fans, because we put the preview show out there, we put the rod out there, <laughs> and then we reeled you in. Obviously the headline of Villa Park being our playground slightly backfired, but fair play. If you want us to care about it, we, we will. Um, but we don't. What we do care about is dropping deeper into the relegation zone. Wasn't helped, of course, by the results that happened yesterday elsewhere as well. It's a worrying time. You've, there are peaks and troughs with supporting Bournemouth at the moment. Liverpool was definitely a peak, but yeah, uh, it was the troughiest of troughs. It was the lowest of the low, really, watching Villa. So I thought it was a really poor performance. I mean, you look at the stats, it doesn't look so bad, but really, 
we were slow to everything. We were second best. Aston Villa came out of the blocks really, really quickly and I couldn't work out our tactical formation as well. Was it three at the back or four at the back? When you're mentally burdening the players of wondering whether they are three or four at the back, then surely it's another thing for them to have to think about. So maybe their focus isn't on making those short zippy passes to feet and doing the basic things in football, the fundamental things that help to win football matches. We certainly didn't do that. So it feels like one step forward two steps back somewhat and that's probably going to be the key phrase for most most of the week really one swallow doesn't make a summer we know that and we knew that the Liverpool result was in some ways a a, a freak result but I tell you what's going to be hard against teams like Villa and I mean this with the greatest amount of respect. They've got more discipline defensively than what Liverpool have. So that was meant as a compliment. There are going to be other teams that are in and around it who we're playing in the next few games and beyond, whereby they're going to be lined up very similar. Are we going to be able to break them down? Not quite sure we've got it in us to do that. I said on the free for all fan cams that a broken clock reads correctly twice a day. I'm hoping that Liverpool and Wolves were not those times of day. We really need to see a bit more because otherwise we will have this fluctuating feeling on Gary O'Neill till the end of the season. He's not quite got credit in the bank yet, has he? I'm hoping we have an international break where we can regroup, we can get more disciplined and we can put in a good performance next time at Dean Court. Two games in a row and it's fair to say they are massive. Thank you so much for watching this Back of the Net vlog. If you like it, subscribe and hit the thumbs. We'll see you later.